Hi, welcome back to West Coast Stackers, the ultimate channel for all things silver stacking. On this channel, we cover economics, uh, political winds of change that may affect our silver stacking. But today, let's take a respite from all that economic hooey and enjoy a little silver. This is new to my stack this month. I'm excited to share my latest edition with you all today. And this video will be diving into my recent purchase of five stunning one ounce silver buffalo bars. So hang tight and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's start by taking a closer look at these magnificent silver buffalo bars. Crafted with exquisite detail and precision, these one ounce bars pay homage to the iconic design of the U.S. nickel, featuring the majestic American bison on the obverse and the classic buffalo on the reverse. Each bar is made of triple nine fine silver, ensuring maximum purity and value. Check out this clip from my video, Silver Buffaloes and Why I Stack. The design of these rounds is inspired by the famous buffalo nickel, which was minted in the United States from around 1913 to 1938. The buffalo nickel featured a Native American chief on the obverse and American bison or buffalo on the reverse. An interesting side note that I did not know prior to this video is that these rounds are known by the reverse rather than the obverse or the front. If you'd like to take a deeper look into the origins of buffalo rounds, please check out this fuller video. I'll provide a link in the comments down below. I found a little coin shop in Orange County a few weeks ago. I made a little extra time for myself. I usually enjoy picking up silver locally rather than ordering it online. The prices were very competitive, making it an irresistible opportunity. And of course, silver always seems to be irresistible. But I, I just needed to add these bars to my stack. Remember, patience and keeping an eye out for such bargains can be a key in growing your collection. These are secondhand but beautiful. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I enjoy buying some bars, some rounds, giving my collection a little variety. Though they are mostly generic, it's enjoyable to see the variety of design. This makes an, an affordable option, especially for beginners who want to start accumulating silver without making a significant financial commitment up front. Moreover, their smaller size ensures that you can gradually build your collection over time. I can buy them at any increment that I like. Uh, this also transitions well to our next point, flexibility in selling or trading. Smaller bars like one ounce size offer a greater flexibility when it comes to selling or trading your, your silver in the future. If you ever need to liquidate for some asset for some financial reasons, having multiple smaller bars can allow you to do so in increments without needing to sell a large amount all at once. This can be especially advantageous during times of price fluctuations in the silver market. Some have said they found it difficult to find somewhere to sell bars. Uh, it's usually in the larger increments of kilos or something of that, that nature. It's just a matter of shopping around. If the silver market ever really takes off, it will not matter if silver is generic, rounds, bars, coins, or kilos. So when it comes to silver stacking, the value of these one ounce bars cannot be overstated. Not only do they hold significant monetary value due to their silver content, but they also serve as an excellent hedge against economic uncertainties. You know, my recent purchase of these one-off bars has been an exciting addition to my ever-growing stack. Um, they're just stunning. Uh, it's the high silver content. It's an exceptional choice for collectors and stackers alike. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for spending a portion of your day with us at West Coast Stackers. For more silver stacking adventures, please like and subscribe. Thank you for being part of West Coast Stackers. Stay curious. Question the world around you. Don't take anything, especially the media, at face value. Look behind the curtain. Remember, investing is our fundamental right that we must protect. Stay vigilant and keep stacking. Thank <laughs> you.